Hello everybody, welcome back. We are now on page 7, example 1. I'm going to read the question and we're going to do a number of, um, as you notice in the questions, it asks for a lot of pieces of information, so we're going to do that step by step. Um, it says sketch the following quadratic equation by using mapping notation and a table of values. Identify the direction of uh, the opening vertex, the axis of symmetry, the y-intercept, the domain range, and we're going to state the transformations of the graph f of x equals x squared. So f of x equals x squared, or y equals x squared, that's your parent graph, your base function. Um, that's what we're going to be transforming. Um, I'm going to show both graphs uh, in this example, just so you can see one going to the other in their shape. I'm going to use the program Desmos. You can use the um, graphing calculators in your seats, or you can use Desmos on your um, on your smart device or a computer if you need one. So let's start. I'm going to start by, I'm going to skip the mapping notation. I'm going to do that last, and I'm going to go in the table of values. I'm going to do identify the opening uh, direction. So the first part right here, it says identify the uh, opening of the graph. So um, we'll do bullet form, the graph, um, maybe we can come back a little bit more. No, that's fine. The graph opens upward. And why is this? This is because the A value, the 2 in front, this 2 here, right here, is greater than 0. So essentially it's not negative. The next thing it says, um, the vertex, so the vertex is, remember the x value, so it's 2, it's not negative 2, it's x minus p, so p is 2, and plus q, and that's 1. So 2 from here, opposite sign that you see in the equation, and the 1 here, with the plus. Next we have... The axis of symmetry, I like to uh, do AOS for short, axis of symmetry, and that is given by the equation x equals 2. Simply the x value of the vertex. That's a vertical line that runs uh, up and down and basically cuts this graph into uh, a symmetric both sides. I'll show you on the Desmos. It's the p-value of the vertex, or the x-value. Next, it asks for the um, y-intercept. So the y-intercept, for short, we'll do y-int. We usually just show y-int. It's a lower y. y-intercept. The y-intercept is not just a value. y-intercept is a coordinate. It's 0 for x. And your y value is um, going to be, um, it's unknown at this point. Um, so we'll come and fill that in in a little bit. Okay. Um, the domain. So the domain is going to be x is an element of the reals. So your domain is given by x is an element of the reals. You don't have to underline that. Your range, we'll come back to your range. That will have to do, um, well, no, we can actually answer that now. Um, your range is going to be, um, in a couple ways you can write this. Remember, it's the A value, so it's opening upward. So it's going to be a minimum. So that means the Y value has to be greater than. So if you remember from uh, the previous day, I'll come up here, I'll copy that. So y is greater than the q value. y is greater than the q value. So if y is greater than the q value, the q value is 1, so for, it has to be y equal to 1. And we'll see this later on in the graph if you don't see that yet. Um, and I could, I could calculate the y-intercept, but I'll talk about that a little later on. It's no big deal. Um, a list of transformations. So the transformations 
而、There's、no reflection because the、uh, the a value the two in front of the x minus two all squared that is positive so it, there's no reflection、um, it has a vertical stretch of two that's the two in front it has a vertical translation of one that's the plus one and it has a horizontal oops, sorry horizontal trans Relation of two opposite sign. What's in the equation? And there you go. And you can also say V S equal to two, or V S of two. You can say V T equal to one. And this is for short, right? And you could say sorry, H T equal to two. These are all your transformations. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to、um, create a table of values using the original graph and the transformed. Okay, so some key points for the uh, the uh, original quadratic. I'll do that in the black. So remember, our original function is f at f of x. Equals x squared. That's the base function or the parent graph. Okay. Now we're going to create a table of values, solving for. Remember our. You may remember this from last year, and if you don't, that's okay. So I'm going to make a table of values. I'm going to do、um, two sets here. So in the first one, I'm going to use x and y. And that's going to be in the oh sorry that's going to be in the red. That comes from this equation. And then I'm going to write the equation of our new, which is right here, two bracket x minus two all squared. Plus one, and that's the.、Um, actually, I'll do the original in black. Just that's just me being picky. Do the original in black, and then I'll do the transformed in red. So that will put here. Here's where we use the mapping notation. So if you do recall from the other day, I'm going to go get the mapping notation. So obtain the mapping notation. Remember, the mapping notation is given by. X and Y will map onto these values, so I'm going to merge these cells here. So here we'll put the X and Y in here. So I'm going to write those in. So remember, if X is negative three, Y would be nine because I put negative three in here. Negative three squared is nine. You do recall that from last year. If I put negative two in there, y would equal four, and so on. Put negative one. Negative one squared is one. Put in zero, zero. Put in one and one because one squared is one. Two squared is four, and three squared is nine. So those are called seven key points, and that's for X and Y in the black here, f of x is equal to x squared. So we square the x value to obtain the y value, which is f of x. That's f of x, their equivalent. Now we got to put in our mapping notation. P 
is the value of x, so that's going to be 2. That's the horizontal translation. It's positive, so it's plus or minus, so it's going to be 2. That comes from the 2 in the front there. That's a vertical stretch. So it's going to be 2 multiplied by y, and then we're adding 1 to it here. All right, sorry about uh, the interruption there. So I have that information, so I've got to plug that in, um, and we're going to calculate our values. So the x value, you're going to add 1 to it. So if we had negative 3, and put it in for x, it would be negative 3 plus 1, and that would give us negative 1. If we took y, and put substitute it into the y here value, we'd have 2 multiplied by 9, which would be 18 plus 1, to give us 19. So that is just plugging this value of 9 in for our mapping notation to map on our new coordinate for our transformed quadratic function. So the same thing here, negative 2 plus 2, that's going to give you 0, and 4 times 2 plus 1 would give you 9. So we're taking 4 and I'm plugging it in here. Oh, sorry, 4 is in here. Four, 2 times 4 right here is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So the next thing, negative 1. Negative 1 plus 2 would obviously be 1. You'll notice that the x values are increasing by 1 um, because our x values are increasing by 1. They're just changing, so there's a pattern there. And um, we plug 1 in. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 would be 3. So this means that this point here maps on. Now we can predict this one. This one is just going to be the vertex. The vertex of the parent graph is just 0, 0. Start to the origin. So if we were to plug this one in here, I predicted it would be 2 and 1, the vertex. And sure enough, it is. 0 plus 2 is 2, and 0 times 2 is 0 plus 1 is 1. One good way to check. It's not the only way to check, but the map rules is nice. Or sorry, is working. Working well. 1, um, again, that's the y values are the same as the, uh, as the previous one here, right? So the 3 would be here. So that 3 and that 3 are the same because it's coming back up, right? So and then the next one would be 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. We know it's increasing by 1. Put 4 in for y. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Same as this value here, obviously, because of the 4 is the same. This one would be 5 because uh, 3 plus 2 is 5. And 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1 is 19. So now we're going to go graph this. These values are your red values here, obviously. Um, okay. So let's go graph using Desmos. So we have a graph here with the Desmos. You can see Desmos.com, D E S M O S.com. So I'm going to plug their original graph in y equals x. Uh, y equals x squared. Sorry about that. And there's our graph. Um, Our next graph is going to be the uh, transformed, so that would be 2 bracket x minus 2 squared plus 1. And there you see your transformed graph. And, uh, you can slightly shade it if you want. Um, so you notice 2 and 1 is a point on the graph there. That's the vertex, and you see the transform. You'll notice that it's a little. Uh, it's not opening as wide, so it's a little more narrow. That's because it's stretched up too. And you'll see that it uh, uh, has a horizontal translation of right to and a vertical translation of up one. And there's your graph. And you can just plot the points. Um, I'll show you how to do that um, when we do the graph paper. Uh, when we do a graph online, I will show you that tomorrow. So that's it for example one. Uh, we have all of our information. So I'll just uh, take a picture of that and I'll post that on our site. So if there's any questions, please ask me tomorrow um, where we're going to do the uh, next example for 3.1 part 1. Thank you.